Hey guys, it's Colleen again. I'm jumping back on because I think we had some major Wi-Fi issues that I think I just saw. So I'm gonna get, do this tour again. Um, again, we're at 4111 West San Luis Street in beautiful Virginia Park in South Tampa. Um, so I'm just gonna cut to the chase and get in the house because I want you guys to see it. It's amazing. So many awesome new updates. So let's just pray that my Wi-Fi stays intact and I'm able to really show you guys um, how awesome this house is. So this is take two. Again, we're in Virginia Park. We have three listings right now in Virginia Park. We have two coming soon. Virginia Park, super hot. Okay, hey, Christina. All right, so you guys give me like a wave or something to make sure that you guys can see this just because we had so many issues with the Wi-Fi before. Um, so if you guys can see this, if you don't mind, just give me a heads up. That'd be awesome. All right. So I want to display this gorgeous, gorgeous two story foyer. It is absolutely beautiful. Really, really grand, very wide and open. Kind of, kind of give you another view of that to this front door, which gosh, I love this front door. It is so awesome. So beautiful, beautiful wide staircase. Again, the railings make it really open, which I love. So this house is five bedrooms, four full baths and two half baths. Um, it has a lot of flexible space. So right now off of the foyer, these owners are using this as a home office, but this absolutely could be a guest suite. This room does have an ensuite bathroom, which is awesome. So this is your guest suite if you need it to be. Beautiful quartz countertops, recently redone. Your urinal for the boys and your little potty for the girls. And then a great um, walk-in shower. Hey, Melissa, wave if you can see me. I think I'm on Wi-Fi and I think we have everything running. This is our take two of this great house in Virginia Park. So again, owners are using this as an office, but it really is a great, great ensuite. All right, let's head into the fabulous family room. But before we get there, I just want to point out, okay, good, thanks, Melissa. Um, this is the half bath down here, which is awesome. Um, and then great storage under the stairway. Really, really deep in there. This house does have great storage. The other thing I want to point out in this foyer is the brand new floors. And again, look at that gorgeous door. Isn't that door beautiful? Um, I want to point out the new floors. These floors are slate and um, they are laid out in that beautiful herringbone pattern, which I love. It's a very, very luxe look um, and really, really um, opens up your space. To our left, we do have the formal dining room, which we'll get to in a moment. But now let's head into the family room. This family room is really, really large. It's great open concept to the 2020 updated Alley Christie Kitchen. If you guys are not familiar with Alley Christie Kitchens, I highly recommend you Google Alley Christie Kitchens because they are the best. Very, very um, nice craftsmanship. And again, this is um, completely redone in 2020 with painted cabinets and this beautiful quartz countertop. I mean, look at the veining on that. That is just gorgeous. Great five burner gas stove with a really pretty hood. Who doesn't love a gas stove? Double ovens, which are great. And then let's get another shot. All the lighting in here is also brand new. Hey, Rich. Um, the dishwasher was installed in 2018. The refrigerator is new in 2019. Again, I just want to give you another look into that kitchen because it really is spectacular. They've just done a gorgeous job with that. 
All right, let's head real quickly into the mudroom pantry and garage space. This owner did an amazing job with this mudroom space. It's very versatile. It's great for the catch-all space. Kids can come in, drop their shoes, drop their backpacks. There's really a lot of room in that space. Hey, Elena. And then we have a great pantry space. And then let's head into the garage. This is a two and a half car garage, which is great for storage. So you do have a lot of room for a garage fridge or your bikes. Um, as you can see, the ceiling does have those awesome shelving units, which I love because it takes everything off the floor. So again, really nice oversized garage and great storage in here as well. Who doesn't love a great garage, right? All right, so now we're gonna head into the second flex space in this house. As I mentioned earlier, there's so much flexibility in this home. There's 39, over 39, 3955 square feet in this home, almost 4,000 square feet. And there's so many different rooms for flex space. So right now, this is the home gym, but this would be a great playroom. It would be a great office, whatever you need it to be. Let's go ahead and get another view of this room. Oh, we're losing connection again. Oh, we're back on. Um, I love, love, love the big windows in this house. The windows are great. And I love, this is gonna sound silly, Dutch door. I think that's what it's called, a Dutch door. Um, I love that, I think that's so cute. And you can lock the kids in with the bottom half, keep it open the top half to keep an eye on them. And then they're, they're trapped. <laughs> All right, let's head into the super versatile butler's pantry. Again, cabinets redone, beautiful quartz countertops, great wine fridge. This home really is so spectacular for entertaining because you really do have, if you're doing like family entertaining, you do have so many spaces that the kids can go and be on their own while the adults hang out and enjoy time together. Also want to mention obviously plantation shutters on all the front windows of the home, which is just gorgeous for the facade. All right, let's head up these beautiful stairs and I'll try not to trip while we're doing it. Again, this staircase, I don't know if you guys can feel it, but it's very wide. This landing is super grand. It's really wide open. Let me just get a shot of that. So, really high ceilings throughout. All right, so you have your second floor laundry room, which is a necessity. Hey, David. And then great folding space. And then this is the first bedroom we'll go into. This is one of the kids' bedrooms. It does have a Jack and Jill bathroom attached so it connects to the other room i am a big fan of jack and jill because it's like the kids have their own bathroom but they really don't so it's a little a little less to clean all right so first space here vanity and your toilet area and then shared is this great tub and shower combo And then there's great um, storage space on the other side of this. How awesome is that? Who doesn't love great storage space? That's just awesome. And then again, into the second area, which is your other vanity and toilet area. And then onto the room. So again, both of these rooms have full-size beds. There's plenty of room for that, along with other pieces of furniture, as you can see. So the bedroom sizes are really great. Hey, Sharice. So again, guys, I'm at 4111 St. Louis in beautiful Virginia Park, showing off this beautiful home. Bye. Oh, we're back on. I'm trying to go a little fast because I, I want to make sure I capture everything. Um, so great tub shower combo, great vanity area, 
with your granite countertops. Um, oops, gimbal doesn't want to work for me. Hold on, there we go. Okay, so great vanity area. Again, really large size bedroom with great windows. I think I've said that a hundred times that this house has great windows, but it does. So it, there's a lot of natural light that comes in. Let's just get another shot of that bedroom. This house feels bigger than almost 4,000 square feet. It's just laid out really well. The floor plan flows. I'm back. Hey, Julianne. All right, so now we're in the master. Julianne, this is our take two. So hopefully we're getting all of this. Um, this is the master. Again, nice big window. We'll get another shot of that. Okay, we're back on. All right, so I wanna mention that the bathroom, the master bathroom was completely renovated in 2020. Gorgeous standalone tub. And I wanna point out these fixtures they're almost like a copper finish, which is super unique. Um, so this bathroom definitely, although it's your gray and whites, it is not cookie cutter in the least bit. Um, and I wanna show you guys if I can. Look at that, it's like a car wash in here. Isn't that awesome? I love a good master shower. Beautiful tile work throughout. Um, and then look at this vanity, y'all. Who does not need a vanity like this in your life? Huge vanity, double sinks, beautiful brand new quartz countertops, plenty of room for him and her to get ready. And then there's your water closet. And then you'll see here is the big, large master closet um, that really has been done very well as far as organization goes there's a lot of space for um, all of your things we'll get another shot of that so again hey shannon all right so again great master closet great master bathroom just redone in 2020 really beautiful finishes i love how they incorporated the really rich dark woods with the grays it really is very very pretty and very unique you know so many of these bathrooms are just gray and white gray and white gray and white i think they did a really good job in okay i was saying i think they did a really good job in making that bathroom really special so the last room i'm going to show you guys before we head back outside is this awesome bonus room so again remember that we have the guest suite downstairs we have um, the workout room slash office, and then we have this flex space, which is a great playroom. This could be a great gym if you need a really big gym. If you're like one of my friends, Michelle Koff, who teaches spin class out of her home, this would be a great spin room. It'd be a great media room. There's just so many options here. And I love that wallpaper. Very cute. All right, let's head outside to the backyard. And again, I love these stair these stairs are just so nice and wide, <clears throat> really grand. All right, let's see if I've missed anything. Oh, there is a gas hookup when we go outside for a gas grill. It's been pre-plumbed for that. So that's great. This owner has a green egg, but you certainly can hook up a gas grill out here. There's plenty of room for a pool, which you don't always find in South Tampa. This is a great size lot. Not sure. Oh, good. We jumped back on. Okay. So I'll be quick. I don't want to lose connection again, but great outdoor space. Again, plenty of room for a pool. Plenty, 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 plenty room for a pool. Great backyard for the dogs or the kids to play in. Let's see if I can get back in so we don't lose Wi-Fi. But again, great Lanai area. It's all pavered. 
lost connection again. Oh, we're back on. All right, let's head back in. I want to get another shot of this awesome kitchen because it is really the heart of the home, as most kitchens are. Um, so thank you guys for joining. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the Bell Henderson team. Again, we're at 4111. Um, let me flip the screen. We are at 4111 um, West St. Louis in Virginia Park. Um, so give us a call, 931-5000. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. I know we had Wi-Fi issues earlier, so I think we got this one on. Um, so thanks for hanging out, and we appreciate you. Have a great day.